23 August is a day many Zimbabweans would want to forget. It could be the epitome of Zimbabwe's worst elections, or at the hands of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. Missing ballot papers, spoiled ballot papers, even before voting began. Among other problems, this could be the election that never was. In Harare and Bulawayo, many polling stations did not have ballot papers. The voters' row that was pasted out of polling stations was not easy to follow, causing chaos and confusion amongst the determined electorate which cast its vote regardless. The C spokesperson Fat Zaimai spoke on the confusion just as Zek released a statement on how it failed to open the polling station on time. I understand there are some delays in other polling stations. Do you know anything about it? Uh, absolutely, yes. So this morning we woke up to a swelling voting queues uh, throughout the country. A number of citizens had come out to vote from as early as 6.30. Uh, to our surprise, Zek was not ready. Uh, they've consistently said that they were ready and prepared for the election, so we're uh, quite disappointed that they weren't there on time, especially because our polling agents have been waiting since 8 a.m. yesterday to receive uh, ballot uh, papers and ballot material. Uh, most polling stations started uh, as late as 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, some 10 o'clock, and obviously as a matter of law, uh, every citizen is entitled to every polling station being open for a continuous period of 12 hours. So we insist on ZEC ensuring that all polling sessions do open but we know that this is all in an attempt to frustrate the vote to uh, drive apathy to make people tired to say it doesn't work uh, we urge all citizens to please come out in your numbers and vote in fact we've been uh, overwhelmed by the resilience of citizens we've been driving around polling stations uh, throughout the city and throughout the country really and the the message is the same I'm not going home today is the queue that ends all queues so I insist uh, on ensuring that I vote and then I'll go home. Today is a public holiday, but it's not uh, a day to rest or uh, take time off. We've got one job as citizens, and that's to ensure that we carry out our civic obligation, which is to vote. What do you think the knock-on effect is going to be now for the end of the day for people? Well, obviously, what they want is for there to be frustration, annoyance, and apathy. The exact opposite has taken place. Citizens are saying, look, I'm not leaving until I've cast my vote. Obviously, we accept, expect ZEC to be extra prepared uh, and logistically uh, capacitated to deal with the voting at night. They must ensure that they've got torches, they've got lighting, they've got machinery, electricity to deal with a nighttime vote because our law doesn't quite uh, envisage it. So we, we really insist on people's rights being respected throughout that period. We cannot have another dispute election in Zimbabwe. In, in the rural area, I read of the first. No, absolutely. Like in the rural areas, the biggest complaint, uh, number one, apart from, uh, you know, uh, disruptions and logistical uh, problems with ZEC. We've got FAS tables that are being perched all around, but the citizens and polling agents are actually demanding that those tables be removed because they were trained and told that FAS is not allowed to intimidate and harass voters. The same goes for the assisted voter, voting procedure. We're seeing uh, ZANU-PF continuing to abuse traditional leaders and force people to be assisted voters. The citizens are refusing and we continue to urge citizens uh, to stand their ground and refuse, uh, stop the rigging from taking place. You're about to cast your vote. How do you feel about yes. that? Yes. I mean, obviously, I'm super excited uh, to cast my vote. Uh, it's my obligation as a citizen to make sure that I vote. They want us to be frustrated, but there are more of us than there are of them. And this is the one day that we get to make a bold political statement constitutionally about the kind of future we want here in Zimbabwe. So I'm ready to cast my vote. No amount of delays by ZEC, no amount of intimidation by FAS, no amount of uh, you know, noise about fake flyers, lies is going to stop me from casting my vote. Today is the day and I must make my voice heard and I must make my stand known. I can just ask you one question. Is your double candidate on the on the on the ballot paper? I'm made to understand. Obviously Zek didn't give us the opportunity to inspect uh, the ballot paper, but the fake candidate I am advised is on the ballot. So we continue to urge citizens to um, exercise vigilance as always. Despite the frustrations, Triple C leader Nelson Chamisa was saying he was looking to take the polls by over 60% and accused NUPF of panicking and soiling the election through incompetence. 
Speaking to journalists just after casting his vote, he urged his supporters to deliver an electoral blow against Zanu PF and its candidates to change the fortunes of the country. Go ahead. If we don't get 65% and above, that, that would be something else. We are winning this election with a landslide, and we are happy. That's the victory. That's why Zanu PF is panicking. That's why they are behaving like a panicked, you know, uh, animal. They know that victory is certain, and they know that uh, we have the voice of the people and the citizens support us. Yeah, man of God, victory is certain. Just in case things don't go your way, what is your next course of action? Well, look, I'm not going to look at impossibilities. I'm not a theorist. I'm not a professor or an analyst. I look at facts. We are going to win this election. Thank you. Chamizo said there could be no peace if state institutions were violating the rights of people in an election which seems headed to a contested result. You can't talk of peace when people's rights are being violated. When people are fainting in the queues, they've been made to wait for almost, in some cases, three, four hours. They're still waiting. That's not proper. That's not according to what is supposed to be. We are not happy with that. We know that we are winning this election. We have won in this election. There is absolute support in the countryside and in the urban areas. There is no way any other candidate is going to win in this country. And we appreciate it. President Emerson Munangagwa, who cast his vote at his farm in Shellhood, said he was confident of victory. He also appealed for peace after the polls. Accompanied by his family, Munangago was supposed to attend a BRICS summit in South Africa, stayed at home, and is looking to see how the poll goes. After casting your vote, I've done my duty as a citizen of the country to decide uh, who should be president of this country. I made the decision that I know him. President, did you vote for yourself? I did. Your message of course, I didn't see your picture. <laughs> when you compared with 1980, yeah. when you came for the first democratic election, yes. how do you compare? Well, I think this time around, there's been more awareness than in the past. I think uh, we shall have a higher turnout this time around. And besides, we now have more than 6 million people registered as voters. Last time, we had only about uh, 5 million. So there's 1.5 million more. And I think this time around, there was quite publicity. And uh, most of our people, even the younger generation, are very interested to cast their vote. Because I've seen uh, in the media that, oh, we, for the first time, we wanted to show that we also have uh, rights uh, to make our decisions. It's very good. President, do you think you're going to take this? Pardon? Do you think you're going to take this what? If I think I'm not going to take it, then I'll be foolish. And in Everyone who contests is going to rest. you going to rest to win. And the precisely is what I'm doing. The key message to the nation? Peace, 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 and violence. During, before, and after. Peace, peace. Your Excellency, there were only two boxes inside. The other one, the councillor is already. Yeah, because um, Zan PF is very strong here. No one is just willing to lose their money for nothing when you know you will lose. So this this is where I stay. It's principally Zan PF. Now, those who want money, they have money to lose or to waste, they can't really come forward. But those who are careful, they don't. Thank this you. Is the reason why Wish you the best, best excellence. Okay, Vlad. Our news team across the country from Blawa Harare Mashingo Kweke spoke to voters who shared their joys, concerns and confusion with the vote. Here are some of their voices. <laughs> Uh, 
Mutia <laughs> 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 Sasa <laughs> Right, the election is yes, everything is going on. From the polling station, actually, I is like this. This is my This is the promotion and the uncontrolled. They are failing. So my name is Mr. Masuela. The only problem I encountered was finding my name because it seems the names are not easy to find. Yeah, at least if they were from the beginning, I got two Zaguti, my numbers, Edun de Akati, Akati, Shaka Garataj, Zilezo, it was going to be simple. But you know, Tombo Pinda, a lot of work trying to find your name. Then after you find your name, that's when you find your number, which is very complicated, especially for Muna, Ningani, Aningas Namunya Zago and Dabuch Koro, but she's one of the Sari and the Nuksha Mazitabo. So as uh, I mean, okay, next time she go now with what is very much simpler. So, so. Mm. Yeah. How long? How long did it take you? Uh, in a very short time, mm. it took me a very short time because the uh, I was considered a thing. I've got a back operation, mm. so they gave me priority. I was given priority, so I was there for almost uh, thirty minutes. But others, they are staying there for a longer period. But me, because I'm, uh, I was given priority. I only, I was only there for about thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay,
Three finch green dog. Green dog. Chicha eat chicka. Jashika and Tika Chica Star and Kushkan that is a good one. Sakavanti to Zokere Mutuka, who never massaged the morning with more than one. Tamakunanga Kupinach. Doubt and Akumba. And the scrap my living by this time, the natural bad zero, zero much one. My challenges and now go under face and Nyanya line to not a pamper for such as you say. Zimbabwe <laughs> My paper zones are but cheaper. I eat. My animal calling the water is another bush one. Can I win a gas one and another bush one? And the HST is rather than a marriage in another person. I think I married the Muri over Chitra of water. So there's no bad Jesus. As bad Zero put out. is a Rosa Zinezi, Zero free and fair. In the Matiras, I tell you. At the sea, the boys, the emblems, the Saka unungo shongo nzo unengo na gani kama ni kuni kuso shida unono tishish nengi shiti kapata shiri sim shiri sim very sim. Inuondi jeli ni kama kumbi ni ne forty nine years no garabu jumbe concession aiwa jumbe concession tafu tasha kana kuni runyararo. E monota risere si jazib zungu zamu monota risere kuti. You are cooking them mended this time. Can I walk in a parliament? I was not as a name. I was no, it's not as long. Yararo, no quit our look at the Sawanika. Sandas Gabanava, a church around on a strong up of Passina, which in Manana, who did not primary when a suko, who can ask one as strong will be go. A Sugana. Ten to eight, they have been lapping that kind of water. By quarter past eight, they are going to be done. The battle was going to be over. Akuna, akuna, meri meri, kuni niara. That would be the nice one. That is the number one. Well, in tonight, we are missing Sishiri. The fire because the ice is hot here. Those who are going to get a Pesa, tanga taka tuno nokele. Asisha ita na guti tukuta riza democratic. E kune wamu wariku she wamanims abo, because manims abo mama ari kumu ukoku ne mama maningi. Wariku tariza kakuongo sulwa aswa wariku tivo tukangeta enda tukamta samasta edu tichafara ne kuzi wariku tinda ita democratic yangu. E se ni jamu duku fara. The Triple C convened a press conference to update supporters on the polls. Now we've also had concerns raised around voting material, being late, and this has delayed the start of uh, voting in some areas. Now before this election uh, started, the question was repeatedly asked, is the Triple C ready? And we consistently said, yes, the Triple C is ready. What we're concerned with is Zek's readiness. We call upon Zek right now comply with the law. We all know the time at which a polling station is made to open. Those polling stations must be opened. We all know the time <coughs> limits in terms of which ballot papers and polling material uh, were supposed to be delivered to polling stations. Let's make sure we comply with those legal requirements. We will continue to follow the election for you across all our platforms. Newsday, Zimbabwe Independent, The Standard and HSTV. I'm Chengeto Chidi. Until our next update, thank you for joining me.